Oh, okay. Yeah, you can you can just do that too if you don't want someone to go to an area you don't want them to be in. I kind of it's kind of funny. Like we got those butterflies that gave us a super jump earlier, but we haven't seen them since. It's like just that one area. Like this is walking. This is walking speed. This is running speed. In the distance, the first tree illuminated the wasteland. She couldn't go home anymore. She did the only thing she was capable of. Moving forward. My dad died alone in the middle of the wilderness. I should have been talking to him more. I should have done a lot of things differently. If the first tree on earth brought life with it, if it taught the birds to sing and fly and showed saplings how to grow, what could it do for us? was a letter I received yesterday from a name I didn't recognize with a quote I can't stop thinking about. Death is not the opposite of life, but a part of it. More and more, I'm realizing one important truth. Each of us have our own journey to the first tree, but sometimes I'm not sure I'm ready to take that first step. You already have my love. Wait, did I not get... I guess her journey was over. But I have no idea. It's only a dream. A distraction from tomorrow. 
I don't think dreams normally bring back to memory so many important feelings. Maybe it was just a dream, but it was also a gift. Yeah, I suppose. But tomorrow we're getting on a plane to the last place on Earth I want to be. The only person that would have made the trip worth it is gone. You're going to see him and be with him one last time before you say goodbye. I have one last quote for you by Emerson, sealed in an imaginary letter from me to you. It is the secret of the world that all things subsist and do not die, but only retire a little from sight and afterward return again. Go to sleep, my love. We have a big day tomorrow, but I'll be there with you every step of the way. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Good night, Rachel. Good night, Joseph. Wow. <laughs> Is there more? I'm going to assume that's the end. Got credits to go through. Oh. Oh wow, this is different. <laughs> Suddenly we're in a first person perspective. It's a lot of garbage. Seems like they're moving. Oh, it's B to interact, right? I don't want to go outside yet, hang on. Can we go? Can I crouch? I can zoom. Also, I don't know if I messed up on the message writing part. I wanted to write, like, I love you. But I think I messed up. Okay, it seems like they're moving in by the looks of it. Storage room, I guess. Bricks. Puffies. <laughs> oh, they just had to, didn't they? Now I might want to lower the sensitivity a little bit. I just heard something. Okay, I'm back. So the person who comes to clean my house like once a month got here and I had to kind of stop recording abruptly. That's why there is no signature shot for now. I was really hoping to finish the game before that person got here, but that didn't happen. Oh, is this the, is it, oh yeah it is, it's got the mattress and everything. Look at the tire tracks are there. Okay, I'm actually gonna, 
turn that down a little bit. Yeah, up one more. I know it's not that bad, and it's not like I'm. It's not like this is. I'm trying to shoot people or anything. But I'd like to uh, feel at least the most comfortable. I also forgot to mention that, like, because Super Smash Bros. Ultimate came out, I have been playing that quite a bit. Oh. Trespassing. Well, shit, where am I supposed to go? Check the mailbox? I don't have a key. Maybe I can put the ladder back up and like fix the mailbox. <laughs> or not the mailbox, the bird feeder. What am I missing? I get to drive the truck, maybe? <laughs> oh, I have a sprint. <laughs> Gotta be something I can interact with. Oh, there's that fox painting. Or drawing, whatever. That's really cute. It's like, uh. I don't know if you guys have ever watched what a snow fox looks like when it's trying to, uh go hunting and it pretty much just plows its head right into the ground like it jumps up and then it's like wee he crouches a little bit when he runs it What am I missing? Is it this way? Must be. So what, do we get to see some of the stuff now? Here's the camping tent. I gotta admit, the invisible walls take a little bit away from the immersion when you're just suddenly stopped. It always breaks that immersion. I imagine it's worse for some people, for, but for me it's not that big of an issue, but it does, it's distracting nonetheless. <laughs> I stepped on something. So 
So I'm guessing that was supposed to be the garage he was talking about, or the barn, or whatever. I feel like I'm supposed to go this way, but there's fences here. Part of me is someone's worried that he's gonna suddenly turn into a horror game. <laughs> Wouldn't that be some shit? Got the back of my head's issue right now. Oh. You're gonna give me a hint? Thank you. I was a little lost there. I mean, I passed that, so I don't know if it. Oh, I can enter it. I didn't notice the uh, interact sign there. <gasps> what the hell? Is that a fox? Run! Oh, now I can go down here. Run! Run, Joseph, run. I feel like I'm getting closer, slowly. God damn, does this guy have some good stamina? <laughs>
stock me, yeah. <laughs> So that was, I think like I said earlier, it was more, I like how it displays my gamer score. Um, I'm pretty sure that's my gamer score, right? I can check. I'm not being lied to here, am I? No, that is my gamer score. Um. But yeah, like I said earlier, I feel it's, as some call me, I think as some call me Johnny would say this game is more of an experience than an actual game, and I would definitely agree with that. He hasn't reviewed this game, I'm just saying as someone who's a big fan of his content, um, I, I feel that applies to this game. More of an experience than a game, and very heavily story and narrative focused. Um, visually, it's really nice. I mean... I don't think this game would win awards for having the best graphics or anything like that, but like in terms of the color palette and some of the scenery, especially like the um the night sky reflecting the water, to me that kind of scenery is absolutely gorgeous. I loved that section. That was breathtaking. And like I said, that actually made me a little teary eyed because that looked so nice and with the story and I I didn't really say anything about it, but the voice acting was actually very solid. Uh, I don't I won't say it was the best voice acting I've ever heard in a game, but it was solid and it definitely helped. It added to um, the game for sure. Uh, gameplay wise, I do think it's a little clumsy, a little clunky around the edges. Uh, the floaty jump is really weird, and the spinning round is really funny to look at. Uh, but, you know, it's solid, and in some terms, I think you could say it feels a little dated, but it's. It, I definitely don't think it will turn you away from the game, because it's not heavily, it's not like you're going to be uh, fighting any enemies, it's just, you know, collect stuff, go, to, go from point A to point B, um, so I don't think the gameplay will turn you off by any means, I'm just saying if you, I have to, you know, critique the gameplay as well, it's definitely a little clumsy and by no means good or great even I would say it's I would say it's barely just good and it's all right you know um so I think that was an hour and 40 minutes or so so yeah it's pretty close to that two hour mark I think there's more secrets to be found in there um probably based on achievements because I while I was waiting, it did show some achievements for the game, so. Uh, maybe on my own time I'll do, I'll play it again, since, it, again, it's not very long. It's just, I think the most, if you're not a patient person, all that walking, especially during the, like, because you play most of this game as a fox, right? And you saw how fast that run is. That run is not fast by any means. So if you're not that patient you may get a little annoyed with uh running from point a to point b because the running isn't even running it's more of like a jog a very slow jog or a fast walk in my opinion so it's got a heartwarming story though uh very sad and you know again i've played games with better stories than this but i still think it's worth experiencing uh i don't think it's that much I can't, what was it, $13 for me, maybe $15, I'm, that's Canadian, remember, so Canadian's worth, Canadian money's worth less than American money, so it might be $10 in the U.S. or even less, 
Um, but yeah, like I almost want to play this game again just to go, you know, do maybe try and search a little bit more. I don't really feel like I miss anything, but clearly from the achievements, I must have missed some stuff. So, and I want to see that. I just want to go through that section again with the uh, with the night sky in uh, with the night sky reflecting off the water. That was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but yeah, that will do it for this game. And, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, ciao for now. Bye.